All right, we're back at the spot we were at. I brought the same two poles. I got the frog tied back on, and I got the uh, got a popper on. Except I may have fixed my uh, problem that I had with this pole right here. So what happened with this pole was the tip, like so the tip right here, or I actually had cut off the last eye, but like there was this part in it and it was chipped and my line was getting stuck between that grinding. So I feel like that's what was shredding my braid. So I cut this off, sanded it down, grinded it down. So we're gonna see how, how it does today. My goal is to not miss any fish or lose any fish. Oh God, literally first cast guys, first cast on the frog. I can't make that up. He took it right as it dropped. Oh, it's a decent one to start the day off too. That's, he choked it. Man, did he choke that frog. All right, let me try to get him to stop jumping. Ow. Look at that. That's how you want them to eat it. Probably a nice pound, pound three quarters. Look at that. Can't get, can't get much better than that, guys. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys off and I'm gonna snap a quick pick and I'll come right back to you guys. All right, took my couple picks, you guys are back on. Let's get the release. There he goes, swim off. Wow, this water is really warm. Wow, that was first cast on the frog. That's what we came back here for, boys. Line's holding up good too. So that's just what it was. I cut all my braid off, like I, got all my braid off my reel thinking that's what it was and then i was spooling again and i noticed my line was getting stuck so that's what i saw and i was like oh my god i just wasted all that braid but it's whatever it happens let's see if we could get any more oh i think i just put my arms in some poison ivy or something because my arms are starting to get really itchy It's very awkward for me to work it with this arm. And we just got pounded by rain yesterday too, so these weeds that were around me grew a lot. So it's kind of hard to, oh, one just, oh, he took it. Here we go. This one's not as big, but best number two of the night. Actually, Oh yeah, this is a little guy. Nice one though. Well, I'll take it after that other night I had that you guys will be seeing. The frog's getting it done. I honestly didn't know if I was gonna like, I didn't really like know what I was gonna get today due to the fact that it's so hot here. Oh, my frog's messed up. Yeah, no, it, it it's, hasn't been this hot in this area for a long time and well yeah with heat index it's 107 out today I didn't think I was really gonna be able to get them on top water so that's why I came out a little later and well we're getting it done so far oh I think one just missed it see both both of the ones I've caught have been pushed up right on this bank too Oh, he just blew up on it. He has it? Yep. Oh, I think, oh yeah, I missed him. Oh, well. I couldn't really set my hook. That was kind of an awkward hook set. But I think he was a little guy anyway, so we don't really care. All right, let's check my brain. Oh, I don't think those dogs like me fishing here. <laughs> it's, my line looks good. So, I'm gonna keep fishing. 
with this pole. I'm gonna try to avoid losing another frog. That second one was a little smaller though, so. All right, they're right in those pet, or not those pets, but like those weeds over there. So we're gonna try to. Try to get them to come out and play. Now that I know that they're over there. weeds over there that's a little better I guess it's right on the edge of them after this cast though I know it's not ideal conditions for a jig but I have one that has a rattle and I'm gonna throw that on just so I could get these deeper holes I really don't know if there's any in here but it won't hurt to try, so I'm going to tie that back onto, or not tie that back, I'm, I'm going to tie that onto this rod over here, and then I'll come back to you guys when I got it tied on. See you in a bit. Alright, I got this black and blue jig, and I got this like June Bug Havoc trailer on it. I don't really know. These aren't really the conditions for jig fishing, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to get down to the, the deeper waters. And we're going to see if I could get them out to come bite. Oh, there's a fish right there. There we go. Oh, he just came off. That was a nice one, too. That was at least three pounds. That was such an awkward hook set. I won't be able to get him to come back because I think I did hook him. Oh man, that sucks. It sucks when you see the fish and you lose him. But, oh well, that's a part of fishing. We're going to get back. So far we only have one lost fish compared to the, like, six the other night here. So, we can't complain so far. And I won't complain so far. I honestly didn't even think I was going to get one on a jig tonight. But to get one on the first cast, that says something. That might be a fish. No, that's weeds. Okay. I don't know, though, because it, yeah, it could have been just weeds. But I, I let it rip just because I wasn't going to miss this one, too. I was going to stick this one. Um... And I honestly did not expect to get a fish on the jig, but I'm glad I did. Let me go right here, though. Well, what about back here in this little area? No, there's none back there. Let's cast towards the middle. I might put on like a little soft swim bait. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do once I reel this in. I'm already switching. I'm gonna put on a weedless swim bait. A little weedless soft plastic swim bait. Actually, I'll do one more cast. And if I get a fish on that next cast, then I'll keep the jig on. Otherwise, God, that's not wanting to come up at all. All right. 
right, if I could get a fish on this cast, I'll keep the jig on, but if I don't, then I'm going to put on a weedless swim bait. Yeah, I'm in weeds. All right, I'll be back with you guys in a second. Let me retie. All right, we got tied on the Gambler Big Easy. This, I have absolutely no confidence in this bait. Never caught a fish in on this bait before, and I've fished it. I don't even know how many times. So hopefully tonight will be the change to that. I've wanted to catch a fish on this so many times, and well, I never have. So. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I just got a hit on it. One might have it. I think one hand has it. All right, ready? No. I know for a fact one had it, and I, but I think it just brought me straight into weeds. Well, fail number one on this, but it, I did have some hope because I, I know I got a, something hit it at least. And I know something hit it. But yeah, I think I might have to throw back the good old frog. I'm gonna cast it out towards the middle and cat, or reel it in a little slow. I'm just gonna reel it through the weeds and maybe there's some bass hanging out in the deeper weeds. Right, let's look at the action of this thing. Let me come over here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of fry swimming around over here. this isn't too bad I'm gonna try to fix it though I'm gonna turn you guys back on later if I catch a fish on this or if I switch or I'll keep you guys updated see you guys soon all right I don't know how well you guys can see me right now it's pretty dark it is uh, let's see what time is it it is 907 caught two fish missed about probably like four or five I would say frog was the only thing I was getting bites on tonight I think I'm gonna make this pond into a three-part series and it's gonna be searching for tanks with the frog because I'm coming back and I'm not gonna miss a bite with the frog I will go buy some new frogs because I think this frog like the hooks go straight into the body which kind of like like I can't get the the hookup ratio good but that does it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.